As a result of the Ukrainian strike on the Savasleka airfield, the Russian army could have lost half of its MiG-31Ks, which are capable of carrying the Kinzhal missile. But Russia is capable of replenishing the fleet of these missile carriers, according to Bodan Donitz, an aviation expert and head of the Institution of Management of Strategies. According to Donitz, before the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, there was information that Russia had 12 MiG-31K aircraft in service. Earlier, the destruction of one of them was confirmed and another was destroyed during the strike on Savaslika. So now there are 10 of them. At least five more were damaged. How badly they were damaged remains a question. If they were damaged so badly that they cannot be repaired, then we can say that 50% of the media was destroyed. If they can be quickly restored, then we will only be talking about a temporary reduction in these media, the expert says. At the same time, Dolintz reminds that the MiG-31K was created based on the MiG-31 version B or BS. According to him, there are still more than 100 such aircraft in the Russian army's inventory. We have to understand that even the destruction of all the MiG-31Ks available today does not mean that Russia will no longer have these aircraft. Of course, they will need some time, which may take from six months to a year, but they will be able to get new carriers, he adds. The MiG-31K is a two-seat supersonic all-weather long-range fighter interceptor capable of carrying the KH-47M Kinzhal hypersonic missile. This missile can reach any point on the territory of Ukraine in a matter of minutes and can only be intercepted by Patriot and SAMP-T air defense systems. Therefore, the use of these missiles by the Russians poses a serious threat to Ukrainians. Recently, it became known that the defense intelligence of Ukraine attacked the Russian airfield Savasleka with drones. As a result of the attack on August the 16th, a MiG-31K stroke IL-76 aircraft and about five aircraft, probably MiG-31K stroke I, were destroyed. The attack of the Ukrainian army on the Kursk region of Russia was unexpected for everyone. This was said by Ukrainian military expert Alexander Kovalenko. According to him, the main criticism of the operation is related to why resources were directed to Kursk and not Donbass. Whoever thinks that with the forces and means used for the Kursk operation, a successful counterattack in Donbass, for example, more than 1,200 square kilometers of territory could be liberated, is extremely far from military science, the analyst said. Kovalenko believes that the forces used in Kursk would not have changed anything in Donbass, it would only prolong the offensive process of Russia, force them to slow down in a number of directions, nothing else. But it was impossible to stop them, to launch a successful counter-attack. Instead, important results were achieved in Kursk. For example, like the complete collapse of border logistics, especially the railway to Belgorod. Also, although Russia does not want a military command, it has started redeploying its units in a number of other directions, and this process will expand. Because they still can't stop the attack. More than 1,200 square kilometers of Kursk are under the control of the Ukrainian army, and considering that the Glushki district is also under siege, this figure may soon exceed 1,500 square kilometers, including the prisoners we have taken and so on. The Ukrainian army could not achieve such serious results in Donbass, he added.